Hello family, welcome back to another UCT race tour. Today we will be visiting Glen Dower, which is on Main Road, that is on Lower Campus. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video and liking and commenting on my others. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Emily and I'm here to provide you with useful, informative UCT race tours so that you can know what they look like on the inside. Before I explain the interior structure of Glen Dower, I want to tell you that if you've been watching my other videos and you are seeing the nice res at UCT, realistically you will get a res that looks like Glen Tower on the inside. I'm so sorry to tell you this. If you're in first year, you'll most likely be placed on lower campus, which is, you know, reses such as Glen. Also, if you have received your housing offer and you've received like one of the less modern ones, please do not be discouraged. We were all there. We all lived in these old fashioned rooms. It's not embarrassing. Trust me, brother. Trust me. We were all there. Glen is a very confusing race. What I mean by confusing, I mean that it has so many room options and the rooms don't look the same, like almost never. As you can see from this screenshot from the UCT Fees Handbook 2022, there are five room options which you can get at Glen Dower. Now, some of these rooms have a semi bath, some have a full bath. You see, it's very confusing. When I was there, I was very confused because you can have a full ensuite bathroom with a sink, but your neighbor has nothing but a bed and a cupboard. Oh, Glen is divided into five suburbs. That includes Santon, yes, as in Santon, Roach, Annex, Gym, and Flats. Gym and Flats are two separate components of the res, if I can say. So there are two buildings next to the main res, whereas Roach, Santon, and Annex are in the main res building. Another interesting fact about Cape Town is that when I first arrived in Cape Town, I was really confused because I would ask them, oh, where do you live? And they said Rosebank. And then I'm like, what do you mean you live in Rosebank? That's in Joburg. They're like, nah, there's a Rosebank in Rondebosch. Additionally, there's also a Rustenburg in Cape Town. So shout out to you if you're from Northwest or shout out to you if you're from my rusty dusty, you know. So there's a Rustenburg Girls High and then some of the shops would be called like the Rustenburg Pharmacy. So just beware and don't get confused. In today's video, I will be showing you a lot of rooms because there are a lot of rooms that you can get. I will also be showing you the rooms of a subwarden and a head student. I'm not too sure what their roles are, but I know that the head student is like the SRC, the prefects vibes that represents you at meetings and the subwarden is a person who basically checks if you're doing wrong things. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. So we can see that Glendower is on Main Road and in the distance, that tall building we have over there is Campus Key Rose Bank. This is the main entrance that everyone uses, but there's another entrance further down the road. As soon as we enter, the building that you see is flats. And in the middle, we have the main building, which has Roach, Santon, and Annex. And the building on the far right is Jim. Something you should know about Glen is that they don't have their own dining hall, AKA DH. So basically they have to walk to the Tagwell's dining hall in order to eat and now this is really inconvenient you know when it rains when it's super cold or it's just time consuming you know also main road has a lot of sus activities going on this is my good friend Sandisa who will be taking us through Glendower today he also used to be the deputy head student of Glendower until he found out that you don't get paid to do work we are currently in Santon and this is the room of the head student. We can see that they have a bathroom as well. In this bathroom, there is a bathtub but no shower head. So in Glen, there are a lot of baths with no shower head. But I guess if you're not sharing a bath, it's actually okay to just use the bath.
this room is obviously bigger and better than most other students because they are a head student so they will have privileges such as having a balcony and also you can buy like a clothing rack hanging up thingy if you don't like tumble drying your clothes this is another room in santon which doesn't have a balcony so obviously the area is called santon because you know the rooms are just generally better than other rooms in the res and obviously it's got the mountain view love it so much so if you're in first year and you're lucky, you might just get this room. It's all about luck at Lane. This is another room in Santon. So this room is quite strange in the sense that it has a bathroom, but you get a roommate that's outside your room. So if you live in the first room, obviously it's fine. You get the cute mountain view and whatever, because you know, I'm obsessed. But if you live in the second room that's deeper down, you know, you always have to bother the first person in order to get to your room. If you want to go to the bathroom, I feel like it's very inconvenient. And they also have a balcony, which was locked when we were filming. Now we are on our way to Roach. Roach is usually for girls only while annex and santon can be boys and girls and gym and flats they usually alternate so one year gym will be just for girls one year it'll be just for boys etc very confusing in roach you get single rooms and sharing rooms so right now this is a single room This is a sharing room in Roach and it also has a non-operational fireplace situation going on. And also remember that if you're living in a sharing room and a single room, the prices are different. So it's cheaper to live in, you know, a sharing room. This is the communal bathroom for Roach. They have basins and toilets and showers and somewhere else in another separate room you can find a bath this is a newspaper room where people can study and chill this is very close to the reception area This microwave situation is available in every corridor and now we're entering the subwarden's room. A subwarden is an official employee of UCT. Like they get paid, they work under the warden and they basically oversee, you know, the affairs of the race. So the nice thing about being subwarden is that you get an ensuite bathroom, but you can also get an ensuite bathroom if you're just a first year, you know, living life and you're lucky. And one thing about Glenn is that they love their bathtubs. I don't think there's any ensuite bedrooms with a shower. The sub wooden room that we just saw was in Annex and this is another normal bedroom in Annex. So this is actually Cindy's room. He's had this room since first year, so he's had an ensuite since first year. But the thing that's weird is why is the sink, like your bathroom basin, outside of the bathroom and it's in your actual bedroom? Also, I just showed you the cupboard space so that you can see that there's a lot of space for hanging, which is true for most reses. We're now approaching the TV room and we are still in the main building of Glen. So this TV room is like not doing it for me. The solution for this is just stay in your own room and watch movies on your laptop. So this is the entertainment room of Glen. It's also very close to reception. I don't know what this bar thing is for, but apparently Glen was a hotel back in the days. That's why they have that chandelier thing going on. And here we have the study room. 
right next to the entertainment room which makes zero sense because oaks are making noise outside and i'm just trying to study so within the study room we have another room which is the conference room and i'm guessing it was a conference room you know back in the days the laundry room is in between flats and the main building and it is free to do your laundry as it is in most uct reses but there is a booking system where you have to kind of book and sign up for a slot in which you're going to do your laundry and now we're approaching flats so this is also the first building that you see as soon as you enter the res this section was quite empty and we also didn't know anyone who lived in that area so we just filmed an empty room to show you the layout. Here we have the bath as well as the showers that they use at flats. Once you get out of flats, you have to walk all the way to the end of the res to get to gym. And you know guys, they have such weird names, like gym. What gym? Also the question is, does roach stand for cockroach? This is a standard single room at gym. And I feel like the worst part about being placed at Glen is that you know you're going to be living at Glen, but you don't know what type of room, which area you're going to live in. And this is a sharing room that you can get at gym, but this room is massive. Like, it's big. This is so much bigger than the other sharing rooms. So can you see that your situations can be so unpredictable? And uh, yeah, love this little couch thingy. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it was entertaining and informative. Love you.